said. Tap the fuck in. Okay. Oh, Cancer, let's check the energy for you. Multiple scenarios will come out. Be mindful to only take what resonates. And flip and switch the masculine and feminine energies for cancer spirit. What does cancer need to know? Mesmerized, can't stop staring at you. Someone could be slightly obsessed with you for some of you. You could have relocated, shifted jobs, or changed your city, moved away. Great pretender, acts uninterested, but stalks you. Yeah, picking up on somebody stalking you. That's crazy. Ooh, I felt that. Okay, so this could be you or somebody you're dealing with. Definitely keeping tabs on you. You could have uh, definitely moved away or thinking about moving away or getting a new job. Amazed, looking even better in person than the last time. Someone is mesmerized by you. Can't stop staring, stalking. All right, let's see what kind of stalker this is, though. For cancer, any placement, unexpected, running into a lost love after a long period. For some of you, they're that kind of stalker. They're trying to run into you in public. They want to reconcile for those that cut somebody off. Let's see. We're going to clarify each one with a tarot card for cancer. Spirit, we got selling you false dreams, pot of gold. Okay. So what they said that they were going to give you, what they said that they were going to give you, sometimes I talk faster than I can keep up. They are incapable of giving you that. Okay. The intentions could have been pure. Some of you may run into this person at the grocery store with this cart here. Okay. But uh, the intentions could have been pure. They just didn't have it to give. For some of you, they literally manipulated you, manipulated the situation. They could have run into their ex, so they pulled back from you. Multiple scenarios. What else for cancer? Building. Wants to build or start a family with you. Some of you could have a family with this person, or they involved with somebody else, or they want to build a family with you coming out right next to passion, uh, burning for you. Lots of sexual energy. And Zen, reorganizing priority. Who comes first? What comes first? What's important and what's not? What's at the bottom of the day? Wow. Twin flames finally back together. Reunited. Feels good, but how long are they staying, right? I have clients, they go, uh, I'm tired of the repetitive stuff. Every time your twin comes back in your life, it's a healing moment. It's some, somebody needs to be healed. Y'all are calling on each other. Somebody could be missing yearning or desiring uh each other in some way shape or form irreconcilable differences one of them uh for some of you <laughs> i said one of them for someone in the collective of cancer need a divorce but this person could be uh tip for tat spiteful energy trying to hold it up stop it delay this person from coming towards you or whatever the situation is or they just could be mad let's see someone's ex could be upset we'll try to slip out obsession and ways yeah somebody's obsessed with you stalking you watching you someone's obsessed with your person can i get a few cards here for cancer what does cancer need to know what's the t realization awareness finding out coming into the light an epiphany someone is changing uh their drinking style in regards to alcoholic beverages versus water. Instead of pouring um, wine or alcohol in a glass, they're pouring water. So the glass could be symbolic of they had an addiction, so they keep the glass, but instead of using wine or alcohol, they pour water in it. It's like uh, some people have uh, this sense of puffing a cigarette. They have to keep their repetition going up. Some, somebody is changing their ways that's very specific offer on the table proposal commitment because there's drinks here too someone could have had a drinking problem with the martini glasses there someone could want to take you out they could offer um a date this could also be someone wanting to propose to you or they're in a commitment with somebody else or this is what you desire that could be a part of selling you false dreams but some of you they told you that they were going to commit to you or that they were going to close out a cycle with somebody else Mixed signals, wanting your attention, then partially pulling away. What else? Ascension, spiritual path, and awakening. Interesting. Pause, interlude, timing factor. Cleansing, meditation, clearing your space. Some of you need to sage your home, your body. Okay, mind and spirit is what I heard. But uh, needing to go out in, in nature, outdoors. Um, uh, that's my son. He's a Capricorn. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn with that interruption there. Let's see. 
his daddy is actually a cancer, so that's why I said it. It's funny. What's a great pretender for cancer? Knight of Wands. Someone wanting to rush in towards you fairly passionately. Or they coming at you. Or they feel guilty for cheating. Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, hang, uh, Seven of Swords, Nine of Swords, Hermit with the uh, Knight of Wands. They could have ghosted you. One Night Stand energy. Or they keep doing this. What's Great Pretender for Cancer? Five of Cups tried to jump out. Emotional loss, regret, sorrow. There's a butterfly on this person's chest. So it could speak of transformation, which is Scorpio energy. That Five of Cups could have come out. A lot of disappointment. Um, the Five of Cups is Scorpio too. So that's for somebody. Strength card, Leo energy. Some of you could be on the cuffs. Someone's holding back, but they're stalking you and watching you. Or they're trying to gain the confidence to come towards you. Period. What's unexpected? Some of you, this is ego. They won't budge. They're very prideful. Interesting. What's unexpected? The fool card. This person is going to take a leap of faith and come towards you. They want a clean slate, brand new beginning. They're just going to do it. They're going to go for it. Aries energy. Would it clarify what it's clarifying? Running into a lost love after a long period. This person is going to take a leap of faith and come towards you. And it could feel like a risky move for them they don't they're not sure which situation they're going to run into or how it's going to pan out if you're involved with somebody else or not what's pot of gold for some of you what's pot of gold some of you they don't care scorpio energy i picked up on heavy scorpio so this card here i always see this man here as a scorpio and that's because he gets scorpio vibes especially with that butterfly right there but um, Leo is here in Aries. So again, multiple scenarios. But some of y'all definitely dealing with Scorpio. This is the energy of major transitions and change. Okay. Needing to let go of something or somebody. So selling you false dreams being clarified with the death. You let this go because it wasn't given what you said, what they said they were going to give you. Or what you said you was going to give them, you didn't give them. So they let you go. But um. That far speaks of a transition. Okay, transition. So for some of you, they said that they were going to be able to smooth something out, transition it, evolve things with you, heal something, revive something. Whatever they said, they didn't do. What's building? The magician, the five of wands, the two of pentacles. All right, they said they wanted the world. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. They said that they wanted to build something with you, uh, get something off the ground, or you saw the potential in that three of wands, that things were going to progress. Magician, Virgo, and Gemini energy. But instead of that, they put you in competition and decided to juggle you. Somebody could be doing spell work, the Magician, Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, managing chaos magic as a means to bring something to a close, world card, period. Okay, they know what you're expecting. Page of Wands, they received information or some kind of download with the uh, Page of Wands and the Three of Wands. They know what's coming towards you. They found a way to end it or manage it. But um, this person wanted to in, in, invest in you, create something with you. But something happened. Rather, they had some mind conflict they were going back and forth in their own head two of pentacles five of wands should i 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 they had financial troubles things were brought into their life to create blockages or obstacles why oh, this is spell work lit we got unthinkable by alicia keys what's lit eight of wands they want to come towards you but it's a challenge there are delays with it being in a challenge position yep um they got a lot of passion for you they want more than that too at a wise they want it they want things to progress beyond passion but some of you they're coming towards you quickly but they they got something they got they got a hurt to jump over with it being in a challenge they got a lot of passion for you at a wise you really get them going or this is how they do you especially uh if you're on a cusp with this leo cancer energy um that fire there there's a lot of fire within this relationship or within someone's aura essence 
sun card leo at the bottom of the deck some of you are definitely on the cusp or dealing with a leo or somebody had that placement but uh whew, a lot of passion you make this person happy or they make you happy but there are some restrictions or someone is under spiritual entrapment or they were something has come to a full close here with the world it's over with okay so now someone is able to come toward you to build with you they're reorganizing their priorities they got a lot of passion but they still have some hurdles to jump over they've been their mind is cleansing yeah oh they have been cleansing they have been removing negativity or they've been clearing out mental debris realization awareness they're waking up some of you this person is coming out of spell work they're able to ascend and they want to give you an offer oh my god i see it they've been enlightened realization wow what's zen emperor chariot will of fortune here they come fast this masculine energy if this is you is taking off cancer aries with the emperor chariot cancer taurus scorpio leo and aquarius with the will of fortune this person has reorganized their priorities the emperor is the king of pro the, the emperor of priorities and they're getting ready to take off chariot they're okay get the fuck out of their way whoop whoop because they coming <laughs> in this chariot oh this is you how do i get to have this person is on their way this emperor they know what's important it's faded there's been a shift so someone this yeah reconciliation and an offer could even be a fucking proposal king of cups this could be you or you're on the cusp or you have cancer i mean you have leo in your chart okay or aries that's funny <laughs> because i was think devil yeah i was thinking this shit was toxic interesting this is crazy this is getting ready to be a reconciliation because this emperor is one half of a twin and i said leo because that son was the masculine energy and so was the emperor okay so Again, you could be on a cusp or this is just becoming enlightened. What's realization? Enlightened about what? Seven of Wands in reverse. No, I gotta wake up in the morning. Wow. Something, uh, someone someone was defenseless and they're realizing why let's see feeling attack paranoia self-victimization defensiveness when anticipation of stress and danger becomes constant we get the reverse seven of wands the fool may feel exhausted and ready to give up she may feel overwhelmed from being constantly vigilant and defensive her purpose her perpetual state of alertness causes more stress than is needed. When she expects trouble, she seems to attract more of it. Have you felt like the world was against you? Do you feel attacked by well-meaning family members or co colleagues who judge your choices? Have you felt others wild to get you, only to discover it was a misunderstanding? Does feeling victimized stem from past wounds? How can you clear up the communication? List your burdens, knowing who you, who or what you feel attacked by. Seeing that the list is finite can help you get a better grasp of reality. You're, when you're defensive or negative, it's hard to view things realistically. Okay. Sorry if y'all didn't want to read. <laughs> but uh, this person is realizing why they were so def defensive and uh who did what and why they were guarded okay for some of you they're letting their guard down yeah yep what's on the table what's this offer about the page of cups this is getting ready to be an offer 
and they're charging in fast knight of swords oh my god wow offer on the table proposal commitment page of cups this is literally an offer it's like um they tiptoeing around their emotions it's like i'm not finna come in here full-on king of cups but let's start here knight of wands too right behind that page of cups ace of wands <laughs> They gonna come in small, but uh, definitely make up sex. Okay, yes. What's ascension? Okay, cancer, because they got a lot of passion for you. What's ascension? Hmm? All right, let's see. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Wands, Page of Wands. Okay good news coming in and growth and expansion ascension knight of wands nine of swords seven of swords yes they've ascended beyond being impulsive in and out flighty hot and cold up and down lust only guilt feeling remorseful can't sleep at night seven of swords sneaking around being deceptive they've ascended they re they're realizing their ways They've learned something. I don't know where from, world card. But it's clarifying wants to build or start a family with you in the magician. This emperor has reorganized their priorities. They're getting ready to make a move. And they've been watching you, Page of Swords. What they do with so sneaky? Seven of Swords. Just curious. Knight of Cups. Could have been given to other people. What's the Seven of Swords? Oh, yeah, love bombed you. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, they had a family shebang bang going on. All right. And they could even have a kid for a while. Yeah, they had some kind of... This is a twin for a lot of you. They had some kind of foundation going on behind the scenes. Okay. Very traditional character. What's this twin flame card at the bottom of the deck? The star card, Aquarius energy. Wow. They're coming towards you to heal this connection. You are their wish. They keep they they have kept the hope and kept the faith. So have you. Especially if the twin flame connection. You if you are aware that you got a twin, you hope and faith is suppressed. Is there. Okay. What's cancer's advice? Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Someone could be investigating some form of crime or someone got hurt or was robbed. But this Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, there is a situation where someone feels defeated, possibly even betrayed by someone close to them. Because Swords, you got to be close enough to stab somebody. This Queen of Swords could be a bit controlling, uh, coming out next to this Ten of Swords, kind of like uh, keeping their foot on somebody's neck or swords in somebody's back. They can't, These cards came out together, and it's coming out as far as advice. If you are feeling uh, a bit defeated or even possibly hurt, there's a need to keep your boundaries, but be clear and decisive and logical. Uh, head over heart, meaning because if you are hurting, don't make a decision from a heart space. Make a very level-headed decision. In regards to uh, dealing with a certain situation. If this is a man watching this reading. This Queen of Swords energy is very guarded. Or uh, very stern. Brian McKnight the only one for me. Very stern about her independence. And uh, you know. She has faced abandonment neglect. Being left out or forgotten about. With this Five of Pentacles. Could even be newly single moving out of a home. But uh, there's a sense of needing to heal. Star card. This twin flame is coming in with the star to heal a connection for those that are feeling defeated. Male or female. And something has ended in their life. Their ex for the women is uh kicking up dust. Yeah. With that five of wands I saw in two of pentacles. Yeah. Over there with building or starting a family. They could have a family with this person. But your advice is to heal. And uh, stand on your principles, period. Until next time, peace.